All right. Today I'm going to show you how to publish something in Adobe Captivate. So I've quickly, I've made a few just samples. This is just a, a, a blank presentation where I added an asset and a presentation where I've done a software simulation. And essentially what I'm going to do is I am going to show you how to publish these. So the first thing you might want to do is preview to make sure that it's correct and looks right. So I always pre use preview in browser just to make sure that everything's showing up because I usually want it to, you know, be compatible with my browsers that I'm using. And this one was a responsive, so you can see it's the mobile, tablet, or computer version. So I, I usually want to check it first. But when I go to publish, so if this is a software presentation, software simulation, um, or like a just a blank presentation or importing a PowerPoint to publish, all that you need to do is you're going to go to publish and you have a few options. If you're going to publish to computer, that's, and I'll click the button, it's going to give you two options here, which you probably want to do. You can do video if you would like it to be a video, but most often I'm going to choose HTML5 and SWF. What this is going to do is it's going to produce two versions, an SWF version, which is a Adobe Animate version or old Flash and an HTML5 version, which will work on browsers and stuff. I could also do an executable, which will work on, just work on a computer. But usually my option is gonna be HTML5 SWF, unless you have reasons to do the other two, which, and they are useful. I'm gonna pick where I'm gonna save it, you know, and I can choose some options if I'd like to for SWF or HTML5. Um, I can select some options. I can select which Flash player the SWF is gonna work in, and I would click Publish and it's gonna save those files where I tell them to. I'm gonna close that. So that's how you publish to computer. If I click publish for devices, what that's gonna do is it's gonna ask me to use some, a program called PhoneGap. PhoneGap is a piece of software that Adobe owns. Um, they, they purchased it, so they didn't start with it, um, but it's they've owned it now for several years, and PhoneGap is a piece of software designed to take like an HTML5 file and convert it into a mobile app for Android, Windows, uh, or iOS. Now you do need to have accounts with iOS or Android or whoever you're making the app for to actually publish it there, but this will create the app for you. And so they're asking you for your PhoneGap login. So you need to have a PhoneGap account and you do need to know how to use PhoneGap to do this, but that's an option too, to publish as an app. And finally, you can publish to your Adobe Connect or you know publish it in the cloud here if you would like to do that. Um, and those are options. But I think the most common option everyone's going to use is publish to computer. All right. Now, there is a difference if I'm publishing, you know, the responsive project that converts down. It's slightly different because when I go to publish, I have some different options up here. They all do the same thing, but it doesn't say notice in my this version when I go to publish, it says publish to computer. When I click on this project, it says publish for devices because now we're publishing on three different devices versus the other one which is specifically made for the computer. So now we only have the HTML5 version. Why? Because SWF files don't play as easily on mobile devices. There are workarounds to get them to play. You know, there are certain browsers that will play them, but it's not a common thing that the general user has. So they really only offer the HTML5 version. And I would click publish and publish that. And then they have the same publish for apps and publishing to the cloud. And that's how you publish in Captivate. Thanks.